So I'm driving home from the gym right now. Today was leg day. To me, it's a love and hate relationship doing squats. It's my weakest body part. Um, but anyway, that's not what you tuned in for. Um, I got a lot of questions out there from new subscribers who are new to prepping who ask me what should they start prepping? What should they start buying to put on their shelves for whatever they're afraid of? And I like to lead off with that comment, whatever you're afraid of. So some folks are prepping for, believe it or not, a solar flare that's gonna take out the electrical grid and take us back to prehistoric days. Others are afraid of a nuclear war. Others are afraid, believe it or not, Planet Nubru. It's going to hit our planet, and that one is a little out there for me. And then mine, my fear is a economic collapse. So, what I would do in your situation, you would prepare for whatever you're afraid of. But the essentials that everybody normally stocks up on, I'll start off with. And then I'll get back to those four fears that people have. So there's all kinds of videos on YouTube. I'm not going to bore you with how to um, seal your food in Mylar bags with the oxygen sucked out of them in, in clean uh, five-gallon buckets. But everybody should have a good stockpile of rice. And believe it or not, there's about three variations of rice. There's jasmine, so you might want to get one pail that's jasmine. If you like jasmine, that's that sweet oriental rice, which I love. Plain white rice, brown rice, whatever you like. But get some rice and get lots of it. Um, you know, I don't know how many family members you might have, but that's something also you need to take in consideration. But I don't want to go into volume here. Rice, all kinds of beans. Um, in their raw state, also in mylar bags, oxygen sealed. All kinds of beans. I have pinto beans, I have black beans, I have navy beans, and I have all the lentils. I have, uh, 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 what is that, those peas that you make uh, cream of, uh, split pea soup with. So all the beans and all the lentils that you can get. Believe it or not, you go to uh, my next talking fast because I don't want to make wind up that you know wind this video into some freaking 20 minute boring thing also if you go to Costco you can buy bulk pastas those two can go into mylar bags inside a five gallon bucket oxygen absorbed and sealed every time I mention mylar bag that can be sealed for 25 30 years folks so pasta what else sugar just as much sugar some salt, sugar, salt, what else do I have that are just staples? There's other little cans of this and cans of that you can get, but I'm talking about the staples. Um, if I can think of any other staple food items, I'll mention it later in the video. What else? Hand tools. I love my power tools, folks, but hand tools and learn how to use them. Kitchen appliances that are hand powered such as a wheat grinder. That was another uh, thing I wanted to mention to stock up on, either wheat or crap load of flour. You can buy those in, in 40 pound bags at Costco as well, or Sam's Club, in Mylar, in the five gallon buckets. A lot of that, preferably wheat. And if you get a wheat, if you go with the wheat, I actually go with both personally, I went with both. I got myself a, a country living Living, living Country Mill or a Country Living Mill Wheat Grinder. Look it up, beautiful piece of equipment. Will last you your entire life as long as, uh, as well as your kid's life. Uh, manual wheat uh, grinder. What else? So we got the weed out of the way. I mentioned uh, hand tools. First aid kit, get a first aid kit and supplement that first aid kit whatever, with whatever your needs are your medications and whatnot speaking of medications stockpile on your medications but put those medications in leave them in your pill bottles but also put those pill bottles in a seal a meal vacuum bag yes i said it <coughs> that'll help its um its longevity um 
obviously guns and ammo. Um, if you're new to guns, the first gun I would consider, and I am not the god of guns. Um, if I told you to buy an XYZ weapon, there'll be 20 other people in the comment section. No, he's wrong. Buy this weapon. But for your very, very first weapon, home defense, I would consider a shotgun first. I wouldn't go with a hunting shotgun. If I would go with a home defense shotgun, which would have a slightly shorter barrel. If you want to get a hunting shotgun also, that's fine. I would get a Remington, uh, what is it, a Remington 870 or a Mossberg 500. They're cheap and very reliable, tested and proven over the years. Uh, ammo. If you're really into a handgun, well, I'm not going to really go into it. There's so many handguns out there. It's not even worth my time. It's not even worth your time. You just need to do what's right for you. What feels good in my hands might not feel good in your hands. Uh, what else would I purchase? So I'd purchase the wheat grinder I mentioned. For now, I would also purchase the seal -a meal vacuum saver and a dehydrator. Yes, I said it. Oh, the dehydrator ain't gonna help us after the shit hits the fan? No, but it'll help you prepare for shit hits the fan by you will be able to uh, dehydrate stuff and put them on the shelves. Put them on the shelves. Um, I'm waving this vehicle over and they're on their cell phone um, like good little drivers. Um, <clears throat> so it'll help you get more preps on your shelf, help you enable you to preserve. Also get a canner, um, a lot of good canners out there. Um, you don't have to go with that American made, American something, whatever it's called for 300 bucks. Presto, I think, puts one out for 45 bucks, and I've canned hundreds of jars with not an issue. Um, uh, what else? I think that covers just the staples. I I'm just talking the staples. Obviously, there's cans of this, cans of that, bags of this, bags of that. Ah, sanitation. Lots of bars of soap, folks. Shampoos, bleach, vinegar. Vinegar can be used as a sterilization or can, a cleaner for that matter. Bleach also, believe it or not, a couple of drops of bleach can sterilize water, make it drink it drinkable, as well as you can store water. I wouldn't recommend your bleach as being your first choice of sterilization of water though, but believe it or not, you could put a couple of drops in a gallon of water and the gallon of water will preserve a lot longer. Uh, so, hygienic stuff, toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper. And toilet paper, although it takes a lot of room, very easy to get a year's worth of supply. You know, uh, maybe two people go through a roll a week. I don't know what it is. How many weeks are in the year? 52 weeks in a year? What, two of those big packages, maybe three of those big packages from uh, Sam's Club or Costco will get you a year's supply. So you definitely need toilet paper. No hands about it. Bic lighters is another one. I know I keep thinking of new things. I, I wanted to make this a quick video. But did you know in, in, the, um, in the war in um, Kosovo, um, what was it, in the Clinton era? All the genocide that was going on, Kosovo and whatnot. The, the the survivors, you know what they say the biggest, the most sought after thing was when when they were all starving, obviously it was food, but it was Bic lighters. It was like gold. It was one of the uh, two or three things that I recall they say was the biggest thing that they, they needed, Bic lighters. So stock up on Bic lighters, folks. Um, at least have about 10 in your house, maybe. Other than that, going back to your fears, you also put those in your preps. Whatever you're prepping for. If you're prepping for a solar flare and, uh, and the electrical grid going out, well, then you prep 
for all kinds of precautions for your electrical grid and what do they call that cage um, that you could put your stuff in that protects your electrical devices from something cage, varian cage or farian cage or some, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. For me, it's a, you know, for me, I, I'm prepping for two things because I live in a colder environment. I'm prepping for, you know, um, a financial collapse, which would be a lot of food, uh, silver and whatnot. But also I'm prepping, I got a lot of um, devices to supplement my heating. You know, I have a pellet stove that burns pellets to heat the house. Obviously, I have central heating, but I also have a bunch of uh, kerosene uh, heaters and whatnot. But anyway, you kind of have to build your stockpile. You can't really go with what other people stock. The, the, the essentials that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, video yeah. <clears throat> but then you're going to have to build it ar around, you know, uh, crafted, you know, uh, around your needs, your family needs, and whatnot, and uh, and for all you folks who, oh, it's not GMO safe, and then when you're freaking starving, and you see your kids starving with their freaking bellies hitting the back of their spine because of starvation, you won't worry too much about gluten free and GMO free. So I recommend you not worry about that right now either. Take care, folks. Give me a thumbs up.